Hi guys, Billy here for Small Brick Incorporated and today I'm going to be reviewing the Batcave set 6860. I've had this set since Christmas, just I've never really got around to doing it because we've been trying so hard with Marvel and DC Unite, trying to do too many things at once really, but yeah, finally here it is for you guys. Here we have the minifigures of the set. First of all, I'll show you Batman. This is the Batman from the 1970s, I believe. This is the, like, the grey and blue outfit. Very nice print in there. It's like six pack. Every, like, different, every Batman has, like, a different belt. This one just has, like, a straight line with lines coming down. And here is the, um, black Batman that you get with, um, the... Batmobile and Two Face Chase, as you can see, the belts here are different. Let's put that back there now. And here is the back printing, so nice back printing there, You've got the shoulders in the middle of the back there, like spine. So, like all Batmans, I don't know whether there is a Batman that isn't, but here is double sided face, like. There's his smile, and there's his like stern face that he uses quite often, I believe. So yeah, that's Batman from the 1970s. Here is Bruce Wayne. I prefer this Bruce Wayne to the old Bruce Wayne, because the old Bruce Wayne just looks really weird. This is like nice suit, some nice print in there, the tie, jacket, the buttons. And here's the back printing, like the no real detail on the legs ever really. Nice detail on the face. Bruce Wayne is not like two faced, he's just plain one sided face. It's the same as that face. Like the both straight face, can't don't know whether you can see it very well there. Moving in a little bit. Sorry about the camera quality, guys. But yeah, that's back. That's Bruce Wayne. Here is Robin. This is the new Robin. This is the new Robin. There's the 2006 one, and there's a 2008 one, and now there's this one. This is got the same torso as the Robin from Arkham City, I believe. It's hair piece there. Some very nice detail on the torso. He does not have a six pack, but he, you can see like the lines where his chest is and everything. Some nice lines going up there. Nice belt, a nice like sign. The grapple gun there. Some nice back print in there. The belt and the back. He is also two faced, like scared face there. So yeah, that's Robin. Now I'm on to the villains. Here is Bane. This is the... Not the really old Bane, but this is the step up from that. The old Bane had like blue uh, legs. This one has black. And now there is the Bane from The Dark Knight Rises. So now there is three Banes in total. Some very nice detail there. Like He's got like six pack and everything you can also see like bits like sticking out on his chest like where the titans got involved with his system some nice belt very nice face print in there some lovely back print in here with all the titan going into his back this is the bane from arkham asylum i think i believe i do have arkham asylum but i haven't played it in a while so i I can't really remember, but I do think this is the one from Arkham Asylum. And yeah, finally, here is the last minifigure. It is Poison Ivy here. This is the new Poison Ivy. The old Poison Ivy here, like plain green going up to her breasts, and then it sort of stopped. Here, it sort of goes like all the way around. Some very nice back print in there, the leaves. I imagine Poison Ivy was like quite hard to the detail, I mean like all the separate leaves all over her body and like the green in her hair and everything. She is two sided face, 
my angry face there. And here it is like a cheeky smile, like a rapist face, like I said with Lewis Lane before if you watch my Black Zero Escape review. Here is a vine that she like attacks people with. So yes, yeah, they are the minifigures. The vehicles here are the Bat Bike and the Bane Drill Tank. First I'll show you the Bat Bike. Here is the sticker on the front. It's like the bat head, Batman's head there and the bat sign. Got nice push and fire missiles. There's the like steering wheel handle. No real control panel there. Yeah, as you can see here, the front wheel is smaller than the back one. else can really happen with the bat bite really. So yeah, that's all I can really say about it. Here is Bane's drill tank, a nice detail there. It's going to like a control panel as it were, sort of like a radar device. Right. And you push this along, just move that a minute. Push that along, the drill moves at the front. Ah, I've lost it. No, I haven't. There we go. Um, so, yeah, they are the vehicles for Batman and Bane. Here is the Batcave, and now I'm going to show you everything that you can do with it. Here are the doors that you, the bat bike comes through. The bat bike fits through very nicely. I'll just show you here. It goes through very nicely. Like, so yeah. Here is Poison Ivy's holding cell. Stick her in there. Just, I won't put her in there at the moment. But there is like the thing on the side, like it scans her and everything. Yeah, there is the alert thing for like when Bane breaks in. There is the bat gear, like two batarangs, handcuff and binoculars as it were. There is a phone, for like, I think it's like one of those secret passage things where you press in a certain numbers and like this open up. And here is the Batman changing pod, it's very nice. You just stick this way in on there. There is a lift underneath that you can stick Batman in, I've already stuck him in there you guys so you don't have to watch me fiddle around with it but yeah this bit comes there's a bit there you pull that out push him down and out comes Batman and yeah it's very 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 nice I once lost Bruce Wayne in there I couldn't find him for like three weeks so yeah that is the bat changing like the bat changing pod which is very nice there so here is like the like obviously you have to bat underneath like a ladder thing to sort of get over. There is like the bat computer, like alert Bane's broken in. There's the map and there's like the bat there at the top is the bat bike, there's Batmobile, then it's the bat wing. Like here down here's like a spinny chair and like the computer and everything. Another alert thing. And yeah, that's all I can really say about the bat pod to be honest. I've done everything you can like doing it now so yeah that is the bat cave thanks for watching my bat cave review guys like I said I would have done it like a lot earlier than this like earlier in the year but because I got it at Christmas but we were just concentrating on Marvel and DC Unite so much doing too much at once really and I never really got round to it and yeah so finally I reviewed it and thanks for watching guys um, I've said it in my past two reviews and I'll say it again Marvel and DC Unite is on its way very 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 soon and I'm cracking on with it today once I finish um, this review and uploaded it I will try and complete it today I doubt I will but I will try and get as much done as possible 
but yeah, I am cracking on with that today. And I believe Finn is coming around later as well, so we're both gonna like sort out some stuff as well, really. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I've, I've said it again, I'll say it again. Like, thanks for watching again. Um, please like and subscribe, please go like our Facebook page from the link in the description below. Um, yeah, um, that's all for now guys, um, more reviews and stop motions coming shortly, bye guys.